Hello there, this is Amanda Frankel with our Crafty Playdate, and today is Throwback Thursday. It's not a far throwback, it's a day and a half, two days throwback. Um, but I wanted to show you uh, a card that I made and tell you about our using old retired stuff as well as using new stuff. So when I say old retired, seriously, this is just retired. Like they haven't even bought the RV and started traveling around the country yet, retired. Um, but uh, there's a trick to it, so I wanted to show you. We are using, so this all is current except this designer series paper. And it makes this card really because of these other flowers that are involved in it. So I'm going to show you what I used first, and then I'm going to show you an awesome trick. Okay, so this color is actually Calypso Coral. I've already scored it here. Normally I don't score them, but when you're going to do a fancy cut on it, you want to make sure that you score it because it's not going to be able to fold directly in half anymore because it doesn't go all the way to the edge. So I have already scored it. Um, and I'm going to cut this off. So we've used Calypso Coral, and then we've used a couple different die sets. We have used Around the Bend dies, which are in our catalog um, right now. We used this one here, so I'm going to go ahead and get it out. So I want to show you a trick for using long dies like this. So we're going to use that die. And from here also, we have used the flowers. So these flower dies uh, also came from there. So I'm going to show you a trick on those also. And then we also are using the something fancy dies. These are also in the new little mini catalog. We used this one here to make a tag. I already cut it out for you because that's not a trick. It's just cut out of white. Um, let's see what else. And we are using this designer series paper. I already told you about that. It came in a huge pack like this for celebration, which is now over. You missed it. If you slept, you missed it. And I have a lot of it here, so I will be selling six by six pieces. There will be 24 pieces there, um, 24 sheets, and they're all double-sided for $10. I'll have, uh, I think, two or three packs of them. So if you're interested, uh, click below and you can request it, but it's got a little bit of everything. You can see lots of different colors in there. So if you are making some spring cards or Easter cards, this is your jam. All right, so that's the, the throwback for that. And I'm gonna show you some tricks. Uh, also, I did wanna let you know that if you want the whole kit for this, I will have already cut this border for you and scored it so you know where to fold it. And I will have um, cut these things for you. You will just need your own stamp. The stamp that I used is from the new catalog. It's called Around the Bend. And that's the one that has this die that goes with it in the bundle. So I think it, it kind of goes like that. So you could cut it off if you wanted to. It's, it's really cute, um, but it's got, it's got some good things. I'm gonna show you where they are in the catalog so you can see what I'm talking about. First of all, the Something Fancy dies are here. They do have a sentiment um, stamp set that you can buy as a bundle and they're great sent sentiments. You'll be able to use those a lot, but I loved these different um, tags shapes. And then the other thing I'm using is the around the bend. So it's all, these are all, and that comes as a bundle now, or you can get it individually. Um, that is all in the mini catalog. And I'm gonna show you a couple things later in the annual catalog, but let's get started. So the first thing that I'm going to do, um, I already have, you know, the little pieces cut for you, but I wanna show you a trick. So first let's start on the card base. How do you cut it like this and make it consistent and know how much you wanna cut off? Well, I knew that my strip was, I think one and a quarter. Yep, okay, so I don't wanna go above one and a quarter then because then when I close it, you're gonna see the tops. So I used my grid paper and I talked to you the other day about how grid paper really is your um, celebrity a lot of times and I'm gonna show you how I did it. So here, I'll use the the edge here so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, I'm just gonna line it up against the grid paper and then I'm gonna count up four squares. One, two, three, four. This is my fourth square. I'm gonna put the edge of this intersecting right on that square. And I'm gonna go here. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna go to four here. Oh, I moved my paper a little. One, two, three, four. So I'm gonna put it intersecting at the fourth. Put my finger on it 
grab a post-it note, which I buried somewhere. Oh my goodness, I just had them. Okay, this will work. This is a post-it flag, but it will work. Okay, so I would grab usually a whole post-it note, so it really holds it in place well. And you just put it right across the stick, right across the thing. And then you can pick this up and take it straight to your cutter. So let's do that. This is my, this is my um, cutting tool. And you just, so the trick here also, when you are cutting something that's long like this, you want to make sure that it's not hanging off the edge of your cutting plate. And this is just a standard cutting plate. I have a different mat underneath it, but it's just a standard cutting plate. You don't want it hanging off because you don't want get, to get it caught in here. I'm going to try and zoom out a little bit. You'll see all my dirty stuff, but you, you, you get the idea. Okay, so you don't want to have it hanging off here because then it could get caught here and bend. So I'm going to just make sure that it's not going to get caught and run this through. And I normally don't like to cut with you guys right here because it shakes the table, but it didn't do too badly. So let's see how we did here. Now you can just peel this off. It's stuck on there. And then the next time I wanna do one, like if I'm making another card, I'm just gonna peel this off like this and put my next thing down, count up four squares, put that down, count up four squares, put that down, rub the stick and do it again. So that is that super easy. And now my thing here will fit without showing. See there? So that will work. Okay. So that's the first thing I wanted to show you as a trick. The second thing is these flowers. So I cut out these flowers with the dies. The good thing about these dies is it cuts three at once. So you don't have to place these tiny dies and then have them shift. So that was nice. I did it out of two colors. And I could go ahead and glue those dies right on here, but gluing little baby dies like this can be really challenging. So if you try to do it like this, you're going to get ooze in here. If you use that, you can use a fine tip. I've not been super lucky with the fine tip and then it's hard for me to pick up. You could run it through the old Xyron, which you used to use a long time ago. I don't even know. I had mine here, but I don't know where it is. Or here is the bomb trick. So what you can do is you can grab, we have these multi-purpose adhesive sheets in the catalog. They are back here in the adhesives. I marked it because I wanted to show you because I think it's kind of hard to find sometimes these things. Um, yeah, adhesives. It's these sheets right here. They're six by 12 in our catalog. I have some old ones that I'm using up the last dregs of it because throwback Thursday. I'll turn that around so it's not upside down. Um, it's right here in the multi-purpose adhesive sheets. What do they call them? Adhesive sheets. Okay. And they're six by 12 and they go through your big shot or your cutting, your stamp and cut emboss machine. So that works really well. And I had another thing marked in here that I was going to show you, but I don't know where it is. Okay. So what you do... It comes like this. It comes like this as a solid sheet of stuff. You peel off one side. So this is the old version. And this is just like wax paper. It left a very sticky sheet here. And I just put two colors of the flowers that I'm going to be cutting here. And now I'm going to put, I already cut these out so I can show you how to do it. But then you put this right on here. By the way, that sticker paper is back here. Okay, so now I'm gonna just layer this on here and run it through. And when I do that, it's an extra layer, so it should go right through, but I'm just gonna go over and back once. Okay, not a big deal. All right, now, when I take this off and I peel these guys out, you can see, show you these guys first. Okay, they just pop right out. They come all the way through the sticker sheet. I'm going to move this so I can show you. Now, you just take your piercer. <laughs> I just keep burying things over and over again. I'm just stacking it deeper. You should see over here. I should show you one day. Um, okay, so this is one of them. And now I can just pop these guys out. And you can use a piercer or your scissors or your fingernail or whatever works for you. You don't even have to actually pop them all out. I shouldn't have done that because I, sh I should show you. But um, you just get your piercer in here and it, okay, let me try with the start with my fingernail here. There we go. 
you peel that off and now this is a sticker. So I don't have to try and put adhesive on it. It's already just a little sticker. So if you, what I was showing you before, if you, um, here's one that's stuck in here so I can show you this. If you just get the paper started, it was easier with my nail. If you just get the paper started and you peel that off, now it's gonna be hard. Sometimes it pulls those little dots right out for you and then you don't have to go back through and pop them out. See that they actually stuck in this wax paper. So that was nice. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put this card together for you now. So I'm not gonna put the white in right now because I'm not sure where I put it again, buried it. So I what I did before is I put the white sheet in first on the inside and it was just a standard panel. And then I added this strip right here. So that made the inside beautiful. And then on the outside, I used, <laughs> I've got these little things all over me now, Calypso Coral Ink. And I used the Hello There stamp from the, uh, around the bend that I showed you. Let's put a Stampin' Pierce mat under that. Oh man. Didn't get dirty on the top. Uh, it was stuck to my stamp. All right, so then I did the hello there like this. And I did it way over to the side like this so that I would have room for my flowers here. And now for my flowers, I'm gonna close that because you, you've seen what I've done today so far. For my flowers, I just used the things with the paper here. This is so I don't have to do adhesive on each one because oh gosh you know it would be oozing through those holes and it would be really challenging and I just kind of put them on here in different places is this one yeah is this one yep see how easy that is so much easier than trying to get glue on the back of these little dudes see this one you can see the ones with the paper because they're white on there and I'm just gonna peel that off. And it only left one thing for me to poke out. And then I'm gonna have two of the lighter colored. So the colors of these flowers are Petal Pink and Calypso Coral. The Calypso Coral matches the card base, obviously. And the pink, the way I knew to use this pink with orange, which I probably wouldn't have done just if I were standing over there picking colors myself. Not that I don't like it, I just, it wouldn't have come to me. Um, but the, the um, paper actually lists what colors are in it, and so I knew what to use. So that's done, it's just, I just need this flower. <clears throat> I'm gonna show you a trick to this flower. Now, I dropped it in my ink, you saw that. But a good way to make this flower have a little more dimension to it, besides using a dimensional, Hold it from the top. So this is the top here, and I'm gonna hold my bone folder like a paring knife, and I'm just gonna do like uh, this. Don't yank hard. All you're doing is kind of twisting. Don't pull hard. If you pull hard, you're really gonna pull a petal off, which is not a problem, because then you can just cut another one. I did not cut this out of the sticker paper. I did not put the adhesive sheet on the back of this paper because um, I'm gonna put a dimensional on here, and I didn't want it all to stick. So let's see if I've got a dimensional. I've got these partials here. We'll use, we'll use a partial. It's, it's fine. And I'm just going to stick it back here. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rotate that so that it looks like it's over the orange and then it won't show. So that's that. This is going to go right on the front and it's done with adhesive. And then I'm going to show you these awesome gems. Oh, that was what was in my annual, annual catalog. So there are some gems in the annual catalog that you seriously need. I'll show you. I'll show you. So I've used them here. It looks pink. It's really clear, but it's ir it's got iridescent coloring on it. They come in big sheets like this, and they've got a bunch of different sizes. As you can see, I've loved them quite a bit lately. Um, but you just, they make the best little flower centers for this oh, because they are colored. I shouldn't have done that. I don't know why I did it that way. Okay. If you ever pull your adhesive thing right off the glue, just put it right back on, push down on it, 
and then peel it up a different way. And there you go, there is my flower. So as soon as I find my inside here, I will glue it on and then I will put my um, designer series paper in there. And I hope that you found this trip for cutting the edge and the chick, the tip for cutting the flowers out without having to um, put little adhesive on each one. I hope you found that helpful. If you do not have a demonstrator, I would love to be yours. If you do have a demonstrator, you can still subscribe to my channel. It's not cheating, I promise. And I would like you now to pop over to Robbie. Robbie and I are doing this Throwback Thursday together. I'd love for you to pop over to her uh, YouTube channel, which I will link below, and um, see what she's done for Throwback Thursday. In the meantime, I will list everything that I used here in the description below. And if you opt, obviously, not to do it quite this way, at least you learned the technique, and I'm sure you have some designer series paper of your own. If you would like a kit, they are $5. It comes with everything that you need here to make two complete cards. Um, and it will have, it just won't have the stamped image. So everything else will be cut out and ready to go. You'll even get a little, the little gems, but it will not have the stamped image, but you will be able to make two cards. So thank you so much for stopping by. Uh, I will be seeing you again very soon. Be sure you stop back every Thursday for Throwback Thursday. And check in between because I'm doing lots of things lately. Have a great day. Bye-bye.